Welcome to this Lee Daniels Art Blender tutorial, adding materials, the absolute basics. So first of all, let's get rid of the default cube, press X and delete, and then shift A to add a new object, go to mesh and monkey. This object is available in Blender by default. It's quite a good one to use just for looking at materials and stuff. So first of all, let's go to the modifiers and add a subdivision surface and then let's apply that subdivision surface. This just gives us some extra geometry to play with. And then right click and shade smooth. We go up to the viewport shading and select material preview. This will just give us a good representation of any materials we add to this object. Hit the materials properties tab and in the option box press new. So now a new material has been assigned to this object and by default it's named material.001 and it's automatically applied a principled BSDF, which gives you a load of complex options like base color, metallic, specular, roughness, etc. And straight away you can go in and change the base color and maybe add some metallic, uh, reduce the roughness. And because we chose the material preview in the shader options, and if we track around the object, we'll get a good idea of how that material will look. The reflections that you see in the object are automatically applied in the material preview and you can flick between a few default options to see how your material will behave in different scenarios. To show how Blender shares materials across a project, select the object and press Shift D to duplicate and just move that over to the side. You'll see that the new object is the same color as the last one and that's because they both share the same material, dot zero zero one. Let's just rename that pink because they share the same material, whatever color we change it to will affect both objects. To give an object its own individual version of that material, select the object. You can either click this button or the new material button here. And you'll see it's created a file name pink.002. And what that means is there are now two materials in the project called pink. So if we change this to green, and change the color, we now have two materials applied to two different objects, pink.001 and green.001. If you duplicate either of these objects, the material from the original will be shared with the duplicate. And you can also select any object and go to the browse materials tab where it shows you all materials in the project and select a different material to apply. This was just a quick overview of how to apply materials to whole objects. If we want to apply materials to specific parts of a mesh, then we have to go into edit mode. Let's just get rid of these three. Press tab to go into edit mode. And zoom in, choosing the face select tool. And circle select. Select the faces that represent the pupil. Now, if we go to the browse material and change material, it will change it for the entire object. So what we need to do is create another material slot. And we do this by pressing the plus button. And here you can either add a new material or you can select one from the entire project. So in this case, let's click new, choose a color. And when we're adding a material to the mesh, we have to click assign and now the material will be applied to that specific part of the mesh. So let's change the metallic and the roughness, and then press tab to go back into object mode, and the new material has been applied to the eye. Same again, press tab, select the faces representing the other pupil, and then materials, press the plus button, new, and add a new material and press assign. You can then repeat this process over and over again to fully color your object. This was just a very basic overview of adding materials in Blender. I'll cover more complex shading processes in future tutorials. If you found this tutorial useful, please like and subscribe and let me know in the comments what techniques you'd like to see in future tutorials. Thanks for watching.